1 Peter chapter 1, the American Standard Version. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who reside as strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who are chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father by the sanctifying work of the Spirit to obey Jesus Christ and be sprinkled with his blood. May grace and peace be multiplied to you. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, according to his great mercy, has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to obtain an inheritance which is imperishable, undefiled, and will not fade away, reserved in heaven for you who are protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, even though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been distressed by various trials, so that the proof of your faith being more precious than gold, which perishes through test, though tested by fire, may be found to result in praise, glory and honour at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And though you have not seen him, you love him. And though you do not see him now, but believe in him, you greatly rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, obtained as the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. As to the salvation, the prophets who prophesied of the grace that would come to you made careful searches and inquiries, seeking to know what person or time the Spirit of Christ within, within them was indicating as he projected the sufferings of Christ and the glories to follow. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves, but you in these things, which now have been announced to you through those who preach the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Therefore, Prepare your minds for action. Keep sober in spirit. Set your hope completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, do not be conformed to this, to the former lusts which were yours in your ignorance. But like the Holy One who called you, be holy yourselves also in all your behaviour, because it is written, You shall be holy, for I am holy. If you address as Father the one who impartially judges according to each one's work, conduct yourselves in fear during the time of your stay on earth, knowing that you were not redeemed with perishable things like silver or gold from your futile way, of life inherited from your forefathers, but with precious blood as of a lamb unblemished and spotless, the blood of Christ, for he was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but has appeared in these last times for the sake of you. You through him are believers in God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God, since you have purified your souls in obedience to the truth for a sincere love of the brothers and sisters. Fervently love one another from the heart, for you have been born again, not of seed which is imperishable, but which is perishable, but imperishable, that is, through the living and enduring word of God. For 
All flesh is like grass and all its glory is like the flower of grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall off, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word which was preached to you.